actual position of the channel is right in here. Um, there's six cataracts in the Nile, starting from the first up here at Aswan, so the sixth down here in Khartoum. This is actually the region of the fourth cataract. This is the radar strip, um, one of the important uh, data takes over the region of interest. And you can see the Nile coming out, coming here and uh, flowing to the, to the west. Um, and you lose it over here. The, the rocks uh, are, are outcropping so strongly, the reflectivity, the radar is so high, you can't even see the river in here very well. And it's from one held photograph taken by a shuttle astronauts and the other is the radar imagery. It's been processed a little bit differently than what we saw before. But in it, you can immediately see that the, this channel um, that's very clear in the radar imagery is, maybe you get a hint of it now that you know where it is, but uh, you would not have, have interpreted it being there even if you were looking at that region. So the Nile flowed from this point, um, and you can see it's a well-established course see drainage is coming in from the side. What we were able to, to um, work out of the relationships of the channel that, that the radar revealed and the course of the Nile was that the Nile has recently, and we don't know exactly how recently, but suspect it's on the order of 10,000 to 100,000 years, something in that range, that the Nile has recently been uh, forced to leave its bed and, and uh, take up a new course to the south. This is a very nice clue about uh, how the region has, has been active, what we call tectonically active, and how the river has uh, been forced to accommodate itself to those changes.